Brooklyn Independent Television. Would you rather avoid crowded subways and buses this summer and get a bit more exercise? Well, you may be in luck as the city plans to kick off a new bike share program where people can rent a bike to get around town. Melissa Rose Cooper has more. Brooklynites who don't want to walk, drive, or pay costly fares taking public transportation will soon have an affordable way to get around the city. Bike share in New York City is going to be a whole new transit choice for New Yorkers. The Department of Transportation will debut the first phase of its bike sharing program in July. Sponsored by Citigroup, the program will roll out 600 biking stations by 2013. It's going to expand our ability to get around and make it easier. Um, it's low cost and suddenly your neighborhood's going to have a new transportation choice. People we spoke to are excited. I think it's a great program. I think anything that gets more people on bikes is great. Similar bike share programs have already been implemented all over the world in cities like Boston, Chicago, Toronto, and London. All over the world where bike share programs have already been running, we've seen that bike share users are in fewer crashes than regular bike riders, so I think there's going to be a lot more safety actually. Cyclists in the area say it's about time New York has one of its own. I got the chance to try it out when I was recently in Madison, Wisconsin for work. Uh, it's been very, very successful there. Uh, it's made it a much more bike-friendly city, so I'm hoping it does the same for us. Anyone who wants to take advantage of the bike share program can opt for a $95 annual membership that will allow you to ride up to 45 minutes. If more time is needed, there's an extra charge. Daily and weekly memberships will also be available. It's a great program. I ride my bike for exercise and just to ride, you know. Even local businesses are meeting the demands of its two-wheel customers. Gorilla Coffee and Park Slope built this mini bike parking lot in front of shop. I hope it decreases car traffic. I hope that there's people that maybe would drive to get on the train, you know, might just ride their bike to get on the train or cut the car step or the bus step out. But the looming question many drivers have is how will the bike share stations affect them? Like any program that's going to take New Yorkers trying it and using it to get it right. I think we need to sort of rethink the way we use our street space. It's public space. And where you used to store one car, bike share is now going to have 12 new parking spots in that one spot. So people are going to be able to come and go um, in, in numbers much higher than before. As the bicycling community continues to grow and more and more people are choosing to ditch their set of four wheels for two, cyclists hope the bike share program will only help to make New York City a friendlier place for bikes. Maybe they can look forward to a little bit less traffic if they're lucky. That would be really nice. And maybe get out and try one, you know, see how fun it is to ride a bike to work instead of sitting in traffic. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.